The imprisoned former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort could soon be transferred to a notoriously brutal New York City jail complex. Brian Todd has been looking into this for us. So, Brian, what's this all about? Well, this is about Paul Manafort's possible transfer to Rikers Island Jail, one of the most violent and dangerous facilities in America. Tonight, Manafort's lawyers tell CNN they don't want him to be sent there, where he could be held in solitary and could be targeted whenever he's outside his cell. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort once lived in the lap of luxury, his million-dollar homes in the Hamptons, Trump Tower, and in Florida, known for their extravagance. But tonight, life for the now-disgraced campaign operative, who is serving a seven-and-a-half-year sentence after being convicted on federal charges of bank fraud, tax fraud, and lobbying violations as part of Robert Mueller's Russia investigation, may be about to get a lot worse. A source tells CNN prosecutors in New York are trying to move Manafort from the minimum security prison in Pennsylvania, where he's currently housed, to Rikers Island Jail in New York City, where infamous figures like Son of Sam and John Lennon's killer have been held. Rikers is a network of nine jails with about 7,500 inmates. According to critics, to say Rikers is dangerous is a gross understatement. Violence comes in all forms, from other uh, people who are incarcerated there to um, violence at the hands of the corrections officers. Manafort's possible move from what some consider to be the cushy confines of his low security prison to one of the country's most feared lockups comes as he awaits trial on New York state charges of mortgage fraud. Charges some say that were designed to make him pardon proof because the president can't commute sentences for state crimes. While the president has expressed sympathy for Manafort, you know what? He happens to be a very good person. He has said he hasn't discussed a pardon for him. I think there'll be more pressure now on President Trump uh, from Paul Manafort's supporters to uh, get the president to pardon uh, Mr. Manafort while he's sitting in Rikers. Sitting in Rikers could be a shock to the system for a man who once wore expensive jackets made of ostrich and python skin and who has complained about conditions in federal prison. If Manafort is moved to Rikers, he'll likely be in solitary confinement, similar to the conditions which Manafort's lawyers say led his health to deteriorate while he awaited his federal trial last year. Observers say he'd be in an isolated cell for about 23 hours a day, and that in the hour he's out, his life could be at risk. He will be as at risk as anyone else um, who is at that facility when he is not in his cell. Um, obviously, people will know who he is, and therefore he could conceivably be more of a target. Um, but I have to imagine that he will have guards around him uh, 24 hours a day. In 2015, prosecutors in New York reached a settlement with the city after a multi-year investigation found that adolescent inmates at Rikers were not protected from the rampant use of excessive force by guards and other inmates. Responding to the claims about dangerous conditions at Rikers, a top New York corrections official tells CNN there's been a drastic reduction in violent incidents at the jail over the past two years. A former corrections officer there does not believe Manafort would be in danger. He'll be kept in, in a secure environment. He'll get three squares. If he needs medical treatment, he's in close proximity to Elmhurst Hospital, where we maintain a prison ward. So he's going to be just fine. Former prosecutors say if President Trump pardons Manafort upon learning of his possible transfer to Rikers, the Manhattan District Attorney, Cy Vance, will very likely then file a motion asking the judge to keep Manafort in jail in New York while he awaits trial there. They say Vance is likely going to press the argument that Manafort has been ruled a flight risk by a federal judge. Cy Vance's office has declined to comment on any of this. Wolf, Brian, how will Manafort's lawyers try to keep him from going to Rikers? Wolf, a former prosecutor is telling us his lawyers are likely to make an offer to the judge that he would pay a very high bond, that he would wear uh, monitoring devices, he'd be subject to heavy security if he can be housed anywhere else while he awaits uh, his trial in New York, maybe even a private home. Brian Todd reporting for us. Thank you, Brian.